This map first impressions video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So today we're going to take a look at two maps that are really just one map. Maybe I should clarify myself here. Basically, we have two different maps that you could download. Uh, at the heart, they're the exact same, although they have been treated a little bit different. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at Zinderhof, uh, which I hope I've pronounced correctly. Uh, it is more of a traditional farm sim 17 layout in that you've got the full farm all decked out, all built out, all ready to go. There are other placeable areas around the map that you could build out should you wish. You can buy zones, you can buy fields, and all of that fun jazz. And then after that, we're going to take a look at Kleinstenhof, which is the exact same map, except it's been completely redone in the fact that the starting farm is pretty much blank. There's nothing there. Uh, in fact, even if you start in new farmer mode, uh, you're going to get a farmhouse, a silo, and some equipment. No other buildings. Just flat area to populate out your own stuff. So I think it's a really great uh, way of treating this build your own farm concept. If you don't want to build your own farm, then this is the map for you. If you want to have that experience and build it out and have the the freedom and the luxury of doing that, then this is the map for you. But at the heart, the rest of the map is identical. So let's go ahead and jump on in to Zinderhof in new farmer mode. Go ahead and deselect our mods. We're going to pick uh, these mods here and we're going to go ahead and pull up the log. We do get one warning uh, related to uh, something related to the um, the buyable area. Here it is. Warning. Farm IDs not set for all pixel in farmland info layer. So we saw this in, I've seen this on a few other maps. Not really sure what it is. Uh, it looks like it's still functional, uh, but it is a warning. It's not an error. So I would say it doesn't necessarily affect gameplay and here we are at our start point in new farmer mode let's go ahead and take a look at the map itself this is a convert uh, from a farm sim 17 map both of these maps can be found over at modposter.com and I will leave a link to both of these in the description below so let's take a look at our lands area so under new farmer mode, we start out by owning H1, field 7, and area 14. H1 is the main farm. It has a value of $176,000. Uh, there are some other plots around here. We have H2, uh, which is $93,000. We've got this plot over here, which is not numbered. We've got H3 up here which is $109,000. You split it with the road there. Got several wooded areas scattered around. You can purchase. You have a purchase purchasable BGA. It's ridiculously cheap at 33,000, almost $34,000. And several other areas. We're going to take a look around the map uh, and explore here in a little bit. The map has its our standard crops are on the map. Let's go ahead and take a look at our cell points. We've got three main cell points here on the map uh, that take up most of our crops. We've got four cell points for cotton, two cell points for eggs, one cell point for wool, two cell points for milk, and there you go. On new farmer mode, we do start with some crops in our silo and we do start with some equipment all of it is fairly well maintained also and I'll show you the animal pins because they are all built out into the map and we do have contracts on this map so we are able to do contracted missions 
let's take a look at our starting fleet. So we start with three tractors, the Armatrack, the Fent 511C, and the K7210 Pro. Uh, these range in horsepower from 110 up to 170 horsepower. We have the Rottle Smash 330 Harvester, our old Lizard pickup truck. We've got the Grain Header for the Rottle Smash. We've got the Strauderman um, Tipper, and this is quite a nice tipper to have because it is customizable. It can be a flatbed. It can hold 8,000, 4,000, or 12,000 liter options. Got a small cultivator and cedar. Got a pair of weights, and then we have a cow pasture, sheep, and pig area. We've got the horse area, our grain silo, and our farmhouse. Let's take a look around the main farm area. So let's take a look around back. Got our farmhouse here. Or not our farmhouse, but our farm silo. Nicely decorated out here with bushes and everything. We've got a nice nice fence there off to the side. An interesting open structure here. Let's see. If we go to placeables. Uh, sheds. Do we have an option? No, we don't even have that as an option. Put down. That would be really nice is if we had that as an option to put down. Really cool looking building. As is this. This setup here is pretty cool. Down car. Here we've got our pig enclosure. Okay. Standard in-game pig enclosure. We don't need to go into any great detail as to where everything is. I do like how they've put this straw texture down here at the straw trigger. Oh, we'll just stay clear of the uh, that area. Got a nice manure texture down for our manure pile. Very nice. Rack there for our three-point stuff. Wonder is this a lime silo? Let's take. A look. There is a trigger there. Wondering if that might be a lime fill trigger. Got fuel. And we've got our cow area over here. Again, it's a standard in-game cow area, so we don't need to go into really great detail as to what all is there. I really do like these buildings, this version. If I were to play this, I would probably play this version because I don't think the other version has all of these awesome buildings. But we're going to take a look at it once we get around to that map. This is the uh, placeable from the EU. EU map, the uh, the placeable, um, oh, what did they call it? They called it the farm barn or something, the farm shed. Got our arm track is in here. And we've got the horse paddock right here. And here. On the way here, we've got the sheep. We got some trash in here, but we've got a nice marked road here to uh, to continue on over. Back over here to our sheep area. And here we have the sheep area. Again, it's a standard farm sim sheep area. No real need to uh, to buy anything or show you any great detail on these. So let's go ahead and get our 
Hendra. And let's take a look at the shop. Shop is right here. Okay. So here is our retriever. Let's go ahead and reset this and see if it resets at the shop or back here at the main farm. Can I reset it? Okay, so it resets back here at the main farm. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to boot the map up into farm manager mode, and we're going to see what's different here on um, Zindernhof. And we're back, and we are in farm manager mode now. And you can see we still have our buildings. So like I said in the intro, uh, we still on this version of this map have a fully built out farm. Okay, all the structures are here, all ready to go. We've got our $1.25 million. Take a look at our prices screen. We do not have any crops anymore, and we no longer have any equipment. Okay, so that is really the only difference in play styles with uh, Zinderhof is that uh, you either have equipment or you don't have equipment. If you have no equipment in farm manager mode, you've got $1.25 million. If you do new farmer mode, you've got equipment and $100,000. And in start from scratch, guess what? You've got the whole farm and $500,000. So it's not really a start from scratch as much as a start with a little less money than farm manager mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to, there's really no sense to explore the map at this point. I'm going to boot up Kleindenhof, um, or the other map, the other version, Kleinsdenhof, and show you what that looks like in both new farmer manage, new farmer mode and farm manager mode. And then that's where we'll actually do a map tour. Be right back. So I thought we'd go ahead and just show this map loading up just for funsies uh, because it is technically a different map, right? So pull up the log and we'll see pretty much we've got the same warning related to the uh, farm IDs. All right there, farm IDs not set. Okay. But aside from that, it is barren wasteland. It's all our stuff. Okay, let's take a look at the PDA. So again, you see it's the same map. Okay, we go to X. We'll see we own the same areas, H1, field 7, and 14 at the start. Look at our crops. We do have some crops in the silo. We have all of our same cell points. We've got a little bit different loadout of equipment, though, on this particular version of the map. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We've got two Fent Favorite 511Cs, Fiat 1300DT, and the New Holland TX32 for our harvester. We've got a grain header. We've got the 4 shit HW80 trailer. We've got a cultivator and Amazon cedar pair of weights, our large silo, and our farmhouse. That is it. That's all we get. And that's under new farmer mode. Okay. Checking. Nope. Couldn't be as lucky as to have some of those other cool buildings that we had on the other version of the map to place down. But you can see back here we've got our, our silo pretty much in the same general location we don't have that fence over here Not sure where that went off to At any rate got lots of grass down here and with the new landscaping feature you could remove this grass and uh, do whatever you wanted all of the other buildings all the other animal zones well they're all gone they're all missing from the farm here Okay, and we're on new farmer mode. 
what's up with that? So this is really a good, um, you know, start from scratch type setup uh, where you've got the bare minimum and you can really build up. So what I'm going to do is reboot this map one final time into farm manager mode and you'll see that we will start with a literal blank slate. Be right back. And we are back one final time into this collection of maps. We got 1.25 million, so we are in farm manager mode. And we have ourselves the blank slate that I referred to. We have no buildings here at the starting point. We have no equipment that we own. And we own no land. Okay, so we could buy H1 if we wanted for $294,000. Start down here at H2. $155,000. We can start up here at H3 for $182,000. Or we've got this spot over here. Not sure what it is. It's not labeled H4. $79,000. It doesn't look like anything's down there. Got the biogas plant for $56,000. We could start, we could buy that up right away. Got this big wooded area. Little big wooded areas. So, let's go ahead and get our retriever. And let's get to driving around. Here we are at the shop. And you can see we've got our shop trigger here. And we've got our customize, repair, and sell trigger right there. And zoom on out. And let's just explore a little bit of this place, why don't we? We've got one of our cell points already. Oh, right here. And we've got a lime station there behind it. And we've got the EU traffic. Really wish we had some of that traffic on the uh, the American map. Here we've got the milk cell point. Sorry, milk cell point, because see we've got milk jugs over here, and uh, there is that hidden lime station. Oh, there's a fence right there. Right there. In the behind that particular cell point. Didn't see it when I was trying to drive over here. Got a fairly densely populated forest area here, which is $237,000. I think you would easily be able to get your money back on that investment really quick. zoom on out here modified this Mahindra so I've got a pretty good camera zoom for you guys so we can zoom way out and just just take a look let's see here let's go let's go this way already pointed that way okay is that sign that is a Interesting pedestrian walkway sign. Down here and take a look. Got a wood chip cell point. Oh, nice chips and a log cell point down here again for farm sim 19 you bring your logs into the trigger you come over here to the marker and you hit r to sell your wood let's jump back in our gator 
Head on down the street here. There's church there. Right there to our right is our main, well, is the H1 starting area. See, it is a total blank slate. Cut down here because there is a cell point down here. Here we go. And then I vaguely recall this map in 17. I'm pretty sure I did a look on it. Uh, so I remember, remember vague parts of this. Got a field up here. And up here on the top. Got a couple fields up here. We're here kind of at the map boundary. There's that is the map boundary right there. So we got this field and then we got a pretty good overlook across the whole area. Over back this way. We could we could just Delete this whole field and make this your starting farm. Cut down those trees and you'd have yourself a really nice view. That's for sure. Can't. No road to get down. We'd have to, we're going to have to go down that other, other path. Get back in in cab here so we can uh, see where we're going. Oh, it's our turn. All right. and go down this way another cell point this this is really nicely done so we've got a cell point here for what appears to be a straw and grass let's go ahead and take a look here Got a cell point for silage, hay, straw, and grass. Right here. Like these this building. Where I've it's not. Not not this. It is. Huh. Maybe it is that. At any rate, kind of a a horse area up here. Maybe like a horse training area. Uh, this is this is from uh, you yeah, know this is from the American map. Over at the horse training area. 
get the mix of EU and American buildings in here. Lots of really viable spots to uh, to make your own area. Up oh, there is the horse. It's training. And just below that, we've got the BGA. That is viable. So let's go ahead and go down there and take a check at that. Back to the main road. Go. Get on down here to the GA. And we've got the kind of standard Farm Sim 19 BGA here. We've got the two big bunkers. We've got the Silo King ish silo here. You have a couple cool buildings down here. So you could just buy the BGA and make that your own farm. Well, and just run the BGA operation. Got stuff in there for your. Forge harvester, planter, you know, tractors, your leveler, and, and whatever to uh, do your BGA work. Then over here, where we've got the water, we've got your digestate out. So I like that, that aspect where we've got water puddle there, or the digestate puddle. Kind of like on the other map where we had the um, pig area, and we had the slurry puddle let's go on out this way and way up this road and we're coming up to that flat spot that wasn't marked it's pretty darn cheap this could be easily a very small starting farm under either Either map and either gameplay mode. Nice level area. Let's take a look. Alright, well let's go back. Actually, let's go this way. And we'll go up around field one. That other placeable farm area. And make our way back. Got a big lot of trees. Again, we're here at the map border. Only seeing it way, way big because I'm zoomed way out here with our Mahindra. Is that other starting farm? H3. See, it is split out in two different sides on different sides of the street now in the first version of this map that we started out with uh there's actually a placeable or a placed um fuel tank here so that's the only thing that's up here is a placed fuel tank but in this iteration of the map it is completely blank got a grass field okay so the w's are grass fields they're not wooded areas Sorry about that incorrect statement earlier. Coming into another town. And just inside this brick area, we have another cell point. is for wool, I bet. Yep. This particular cell point is for wool and cotton.
So guys, as we kind of start to wrap up this video, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this idea where we have two different maps? Uh, one kind of holding more to the Farm Sim 17 style of gameplay, and then one holding more true to the Farm Sim 19 style of gameplay. You could do the first map with your farm completely built out and ready to go. Do the first map completely with the farm built out, ready to go in any of the play styles. Uh, either you have starting equipment or you don't. Start out with different amounts of money. With the new patch, you can start out with different uh, levels of economic difficulty also. Pretty cool combination. Or you come over to this variant of the map and you start with a rather limited farm build out, even in new farmer mode. And uh, or you could go to farm manager like what we are now and truly have a blank slate. And build it up from there, however you want. So let me know in the comments what you think of, of the two different maps. The, uh, the tale of two different maps, I guess. Same map, just two different variants. Let me know what you think of that idea. Let me know what map should you decide to play. What, what kind of map are you going to play? Are you going to play the one that is more true to Farm Sim 19? Or are you going to go back to the Farm Sim 17? variant style of gameplay so guys that's just going to do it for me tonight and uh hope you liked the video if you did please go ahead and click that like button uh go ahead and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber oh check that out we got a sunken boat oh this boat is taking on some water i'm not going to ride that one it's pretty cool Not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. We've got plenty of mod review videos coming up as well as map videos coming up because it seems that the map makers are finally catching up uh, with what needs to be done to get these things out. And until next time, happy farming.